Hi, my name is Cash Rakowski, and I just finished an app that utilizes Stable Diffusion for live image generation, as well as Apple's Room Plan API to scan your room into virtual reality, and then you utilize hand tracking to select walls and type in different prompts to send to Stable Diffusion in order to generate a wallpaper or, or texture for that, and then that gets mapped onto the onto the wall itself. So here you see I'm using the Room Plan API to scan in my home office. And it captures the door, it recognizes the different objects as like the door, what's the wall. Um, it, it'll even capture the double pane door that I have there, recognize that's a couch, cabinet. So it's really good at not only capturing uh, where the walls are, but specifically what's in the room. I scanned in the office chair there. And then at this point, I'll take that and bring it into uh, basically a hosted location, launch the VR app. VR app knows that it's my room, so it downloads that room plan, and that's what just popped in right there and I can use kind of like a gun motion to select a wall. That's the red wall selected, and now I'm bringing in, uh, typing up a prompt here, in this case, just dogs. That prompt is gonna get sent out to Stable Diffusion, oh, dogs and, and pizza in this, this demo. So now that's gone out to the Stable Horde and the horde's gonna basically go back utilizing a bunch of GPUs and compute that model on the fly. And any second now we'll get our dogs and pizza. There you go. And you see that texture's been applied. Uh, so in this case, I you know, shot at the ground with my, my hand tracking. Uh, and so that's why the ground selected there. And we could try a different prompt, in this case, cats with Hats, a classic. And it gives a couple seconds for that uh, information to, to go through the rest of the API and back, and there we get our resulting prompts. Uh, in this case, it looks like it gives a cat on a hat, but it's a machine learning model with no internet, so I'll take what I can get. <laughs> and again, it's just that easy to, to type out different models. So that's my, my app. Hopefully I'll expand on a little more, add some more nice features and things like that. But uh, yeah, yeah, it's uh, running totally on the Quest, so I'll probably release an APK. Anyone can give it a try, test it out on their own computer. Uh, they don't need a PC, actually. Just load it right into the Quest, and it, uh, it runs on mobile. So thanks.